Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. We have exercise number 4 for chapter number 11 that how can we apply labels with code set style in AutoCAD Civil 3D. Applying labels with code set style. As we already seen that code test set styles are very effective in assigning styles based on point, links and shapes of codes. They can also be used to apply labels, corridor sections and just as with styles code, codes are the key to automating the placement of labels in AutoCAD Civil 3D section views. Before get into exercise if you are new on my youtube channel civil 3d pro designer you can subscribe and if you want to learn complete course about civil 3d you can start with playlist of chapter number one so let's start our exercise number four In this exercise, we will use a code set styles to add labels to a corridor section and we will then modify the code set style to add a label at the crown of our section uh, corridor section. Step number one, open the drawing named labeling with code set style. labeling with code set style you can also get this drawing from the description link you can download them free okay it's fine step number two click the corridor section in the bottom section view and then select section properties on the ribbon here we have three section and now we will select our corridor section and then go to section properties. Step number three change object style to design with label. Here we have object style and now it is just design but we need to select design with label and then click OK. Now you can see we have many label press escape to clear the selection you can see slope of pave one curb and some of the labels for our elevation okay step number four open the tool palette window by clicking the tool palette icon on the home tab of the ribbon here you can find here home tab here we have tool palette and you will click it will open here tool palette click the basic tab in tool palette window to make the basic palette command come to the front here we have many tabs but we need to select if you are here anywhere and you need to select basic okay now we are taken directly to the help window for this assembly because we don't know which are our codes we are using for our uh, assembly so you can take help from civil 3d that how we know about how we can get familiar with our design okay step number five right click basic land transitions and select help here you will click right and you can click on help now we are taken directly to help window for this assembly note that point pi is coded crown as a crown 
it is coded pi pi is p1 or pi you can see it is coded as crown how can we get here you can see here basic length assembly information attachment and per perimeter and target perimeter output perimeter then you can also see here we have a p1 it is coded as p1 crown so you can get many more help from civil 3d now we get that our crown has name p1 you need to click close here step number six scroll to the bottom of the help page and study the coding diagram yes we already study and we get p1 as a crown Step number seven, close the help window, click the corridor section and then click section properties. You can also close your tool palette and here you select corridor section and then click section properties. Edit code set style on the ribbon. Sorry, we don't need to select this one. When you can click here and you will set you will see code set style it will open code set style design with label dialog box to you step number eight on the code tab of the code set style dialog box expand the point section and locate the crown code beneath it point section here we need to find crown yes we have crown here which we are going to label now you can see it's have not no label step number nine click the icon to the right of the none right of none in the label style column across from the crown select crown elevation and click ok once you will click here it will open style dialog box you can select crown elevation and click ok step number 10 click ok to dismiss the code set style dialog box please escape to clear the selection of your dialog box press ok now you can see here we have not any label for our crown if we want to know our elevation of crown or any other <coughs> segment elevation on our corridor section you can give them style here and it will show on your screen like that press ok now you can see here we have one label which is showing the crown elevation of 59.51 Step number 11 save and close the drawing so we have learned that how can we annotate our corridor section using section properties and if we want to add any label on our assembly then how can we show them hope you like this video if you are new, please subscribe Civil 3D Pro Designer for basic to advanced knowledge of Civil 3D and you can also like my Facebook page Civil 3D Pro Designer. Here you can get many more material about Civil 3D and land surveying and you can join discussions to get 